Federation Starship Spruance has arrived in California, thriving Terran colony in the Fortuna 6 system. We are scheduled to rendezvous with Starship Washington and other capital fleet ships. The planet of the Banditas has struggled to hold on to its hard-fought independence from the Klingon Empire. The Klingons do not openly blockade Banditas, though they prey heavily upon the shipping that carries vital supplies. Starfleet has struggled to get the supplies to the planet by way of Delta Quadrant side of the system. The legendary hero from the momentous Battle of Pandexar, the Iron Admiral Edward Jenkins, has been assigned to open a new route, New California to Bandidas. Vital supplies must be delivered before there is a planet-wide tragedy. At that point, both ships were about half shot to pieces and adrift in space. First ship that could get off a salvo would be sure to finish the other. So I told that damn ship's engineer of mine that if he could not give me the power I required, I'd come down there and open those plasma valves myself. Ah, Captain Anderson, I presume. Indeed it is, Admiral Jenkins. It is an honor to work with you, sir. Thank you, Captain. Right. Now that you're all here, I can tell you, the situation is looking grim. That's why I called in the extra firepower to your ships. We've kept a lid on what we feed the news, but the truth of the matter is, we've not had a ship made it through to Adidas yet. When you say, didn't make it through, I mean... They were destroyed. Klingon Interceptors. Oh, destroyed? We've been trying to get ships on them for over a month. How many ships are there? 27 transports, two frigates, and the Bradley. Good heavens. 27 ships? That's that's over 2,000 lives. Not to mention the 700 from the poor Bradley. Mark my words, we will avenge the Bradley. I have a plan. Admiral Jenkins, we're getting an emergency distress call from our last transport ship. They're under attack. Ha! We've got them this time! Send those coordinates to the Foxfire immediately! Aye, aye, Admiral. That transport is traveling at top speed. But as is the case with most transports, that's not saying much. The frigate Foxfire has been patrolling in that sector of space and could very well get there in time to intercept the Klingons. Now there's a first time for everything, I guess. You watch your mouth, Ramos, right? I'm getting emergency hail from the Foxfire. I'm patching it through now. Our shields are failing. The Cleons were waiting for us. It was an ambush! Blast and damnation! That was Jonesy's ship! I don't have to say it, Captains. You know what you have to do. You go out there and crush this Klingon threat into dirt! No, 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 that, that's wrong. You, you're just sending good ships after bad. That's enough, Ramos. This is not the time. Yeah, that's right. The threat time would have been a month ago. Maybe then we could have saved a thousand lives. I said enough! I'm a word out of you, Ramos. I'll throw you off the Zukov. Have you forgotten our mission? We have to get these supplies to the Dits. The supplies will get through, and we have blasted the Klingons out of this sector. 
How will the supplies get through if it's the Klingons blasting us out of the sector? Enough, you traitorous punk! Admiral Zoranto, security! Security, report to my briefing room immediately! Captain Ramos, your insubordination can no longer be tolerated. You are hereby relieved of duty and command of the Zukov. Security, take Captain Ramos into custody and confine him to quarters. Captain Anderson, who's your best officer? Um, our Commander Parker. He's uh, he's diligent and dependable. Good. Have him report at once to the Zukov to take command. All my captains, good hunting. Let's end this scourge. Though the Zukov is a beautiful ship, and I am thrilled to lead her into a combat zone, I am not happy about taking this command under these questionable circumstances. you for your concern, Captain. Ramos is one of my best officers, but I cannot stand insubordination. I had the impression that Captain Ramos wouldn't be in so much as insubordinate as expressing grief over the loss of Foxfire and a desire for a different strategy to combat it. Quite intuitive, Captain Anderson. Captain Ramos suggest following a different strategy for this campaign. I don't fault him for independent thinking, but I'm an old warrior and war horse, and I know how I want this war waged. How do, your, how do your methods differ? Ramos suggests huddling the ships together in a group, making the long haul at the fastest pace of the slowest ship. It would be like shackling a ball and chain to these beautiful Starfleet ships. Speed is our greatest asset, 
We would be fools to play nursemaids when we have the fastest ships in the galaxy. All sensors reporting clear, Captain Parker. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah, plenty of space between us and the transports, Captain. What was that, helm? Nothing, sir. I've had just about enough of this surly crew. Admiral Jenkins relieved Captain Ramos because he was in support. He could not follow orders. I was sent here because I will follow orders and we will accomplish this mission. Are we clear? We've got it, sir. When we're asked, why did we allow the Mendicians to perish? We'll simply say we were just following orders. Any more of that from you, science, and you'll find yourself confined to quarters. Now, what is this all about? There's a better way of getting past the Cleons. Admiral Zoranto figured out a way to fend them off. It's not easy. It takes patience and commitment. Well, I'm listening. The Zoranto went. Two levels of ships arrayed about a certain point. In this case, our convoy of ships. These do not even need to be combat ships as long as they possess a sufficient deflection dish. An interconnected geodesical pattern can be formed by emitting a steady palladium pulse at the correct frequencies. He was able to create a buffer around his convoys that exposes any closed ship. Yeah, so now the Klingons have relocated to this sector where Starfleet's running around like a bunch of headless chickens. Drop a cloak, toast a life-saving transport, and then smoke any nice Starfleet ship that comes to the rescue. The perfect ambush that Jenkins keeps falling for, over and over. Is this true? Yeah, it's a real happy time for the Cleons. Why is Jenkins so stubborn about changing tactics? status, please. Negative contact anywhere, Captain. Are all transponders responding correctly? Aye, Captain. Distress signal coming in now, Captain. The lead transport is under attack. Admiral Jenkins is ordering all Federation ships to converge on that transport. Hell. Course plotted. Engage. Maximum warp. Captain, all 
reach into SSG Sound off. Damage report. Reroute the plasma until the repair is complete. Sorry, Apple. We've got a leak in naysay. But my damage control team will have us ready again momentarily. I'll drive this possible I don't have an estimate on repairs yet, but it won't be today. We've got a serious problem. All systems are still online. It'll take a while before our ships are at 100%. We're still able to fight. Not a scratch on the Zukov. Good. How about you, Delanky? Not good. We sustained torpedo breach to Port Fort Bulkhead. We, we suffered many deaths and wounded. Uh, warp drive is offline. Blast, that's hard. Cunningham, you and then Lakey get back to New California. There's nothing more you can do here. The rest of us are going to wreak vengeance on those ambushing cowards. All ships, feed your best departure date on the vanishing birds of prey. We'll plot their most likely destination and hunt down those murderers. Here are our best tracking coordinates. Yes, I think this is the best location. Catching those clinics with the tanks. Come on, Admiral Jenkins. Let's go get some revenge while our blood is still hot. Ha! I'm with you, Captain. We'll sweep the situation this time. Once and for all. We're in supply. Everyone ready? Prepare warp drive. On my mark. And Play that order. What? I said stand down. That goes for every ship. Commander, you are way out of line. We are not going to ambush the Klingons. Chances are, they're going to ambush us again. I can't believe it! Cowardice! Treason! Admiral, why will you not employ the Zoranto web? The Zoranto web? Ha! That half-baked idea was proven to be a crackpot novelty. What is this about, Commander Parker? Sir, Admiral Zoranti has developed a safer manner of shipping operations that Admiral Jenkins refuses to adopt. Starfleet is about speed. We have the fastest ships in space. That pompous bug would have his ships move at a crawl. Admiral Zoranti has not lost one ship since employing his web. I will not be bullied by some blue-skinned blonde bug that thinks he knows more than me. We have just arrived at the crux of our dilemma. Explain. Zoranto's blood is as blue as his skin. Just take one look at him and you'll know he's only looking out for himself. He does not have Starfleet's best interest at heart. Wait, are, are you saying that you do not trust Admiral Zoranto because he's... And Dorian? Blast and damnation! Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. Everyone knows how devious Andorians are. That is ridiculous. Admiral Zoranto is one of Starfleet's finest officers. Andoria is one of our staunchest allies. You don't know them like I do. Blast it, we're wasting time. All the crews of all the ships. Now hear this. I am taking command of each ship. You will follow my orders. Prepare to engage warp and converge upon the Klingons. Lay that. What? Those ships don't require warp drive to stay with the 
we will need their deflection because we're going to protect the web. Well, that's a move pretty slow, but if we can cobble together enough ships with requisite deflection power to form the appropriate screens, then any cloaked ships within that barrier will be revealed. I think there is a good chance we can have effective ambush prepared for the Klingons when we attack. Getting the transport safely to Bendidas. That's the mission. I lost sight of that. Thank you, Commander Parker. I think this mission will now be seen to its proper conclusion. Prepare the fleet to employ the Zorato web. Don't look down. Looks like we got us in the Dark of the moon, under an ominous room, in a D-class, hauling ass. Glowing nacelles and gleaming rails, there wasn't nothing we couldn't pass. But we had to slow our speed, the Venetians were in need, our hearts heavy with troubled soul. Klingons thick as flies to thwart our supplies, but we said to let them trekkers roll, 10-4. Yeah, we got a great big convoy, trekking through the night. Yeah, we're in a Starfleet convoy. By the time we left New Cali, the Klingons were lying in wait. Battleships, cruisers, and birds of prey thought they would seal our fate. The Zorato web was then engaged, much to our host's surprise. Cloaked ships did show, to our trap they did row. Vengeance is a delicious prize. Yeah, we got a great big convoy, trekking through the night. Yeah, yeah we're well. in a Starfleet convoy, ain't she a beautiful sight? Come and join our Starfleet convoy, those Klingons won't get in our way. Come on and join our trekking convoy, across the free space waves. Convoy. Yeah, we made the run to Benditas. There was magic in the air. Blockade suspension. Celebration. The planet threw away their cares. Yeah, Benditas never had a party so big, but there was one thing we forgot. A careless thought, but it was quite a lot. Somebody let Ramos out of the brig. Yeah, we got a great big convoy trekking through the night. Yeah, we're in a Starfleet convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? Come and join our Starfleet convoy. Those Klingons won't get in our way. Come on and join our trekking convoy. Across the free space wave convoy.